No! Oh, hurry, hurry, up, up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, tighten up. Welcome back to our channel. We hope that all of you are doing well. Interested in chemistry or perhaps you want to see how it's involved in your daily life? Just go to the kitchen, perhaps if you cook or if your parents cook. Have you ever noticed that whenever you mix oil and water, they just don't mix? That's simple chemistry right there. However, that's for another video. Make sure to drop down in the comments if you'd like an explanation to why this is so. Now onto another classic demonstration, the Coke and Mentos. The setup for the Coke and Mentos experiment is fairly simple. First, you want to use approximately 3-4 to four Mentos and just tape them onto a tape. Here I use double sided tape to make sure that I can end up taping it from the top of the cap. You want to make sure you don't put enough Mentos and I repeat, do not put enough Mentos to touch the liquid at the bottom. Perhaps you've seen this chemical reaction, but hold up, it's not a chemical reaction. I don't even know what that means. It's actually a physical reaction. Now Coke is a carbonated drink meaning there's carbon dioxide dissolved within the liquid and it's kept under the normal bottle pressure. So ultimately, once the Mentos mix with the Coca-Cola, the Mentos has these small cracks that cannot be seen by the human eye. And these small cracks allow for the carbon dioxide to kind of separate itself from the liquid and form these carbon dioxide bubbles where that's the physical change that's occurring. Once these carbon dioxide bubbles rise up to the surface of the Coca-Cola, they allow that pressure to build up. And once you smash it into the ground, Bang, you see all the liquid come out. It's all over me, man. Now, this reaction has been coined nucleation, but it's a physical reaction. A general rule of thumb to determine if a reaction is physical or chemical is to see the end products, meaning what is created at the end of that reaction. In a chemical reaction, a new substance is formed. Take, for example, paper and a lighter. When you light paper with a lighter, it becomes ash. Now this ash is a completely new substance and therefore is a chemical reaction. However, if you boil water, that water is just gonna convert itself into steam. Now the water is still there, it's just changed its state of matter. Therefore, it is a physical reaction. If you are still confused about what I just said or would like more information, make sure to check out Cytines. On our website, we have articles that cover things like this in chemistry. Now, I also want to mention this cool resource that can be found online, which is a free online chemistry textbook right here. It'll allow you to build the fundamentals that will be needed for you to conduct any experiment or just do another Coke and Mentos experiment that's better than the one I'm about to do. Yeah, so as mentioned in the video earlier on, you want the Mentos to be hanging from the cap. You want the cap to be pretty tight. When you smash into the ground, you want to make sure you hit straight into the ground in order for the explosion to have and feel an equal and opposite reaction from the ground. Now, as you can see, it's starting to react, Then that's because one mento is dropped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and just shake it a bit. No. So the reason we're using Diet Coke along with the normal Coke is because uh, Diet Coke has a higher carbonation content, which means theoretically, when we add the Mentos and do the experiment with Diet Coke, we should get more height from the bottles. Alright, another resource I want you guys to know about is a resource created by Harvard. It is called Lab Exchange. Lab Exchange offers a lot of cool videos and interactive simulations like this one to allow you to build the confidence needed in developing good skills in the life sciences. If your high school does not have STEM resources, I highly recommend those as they provide the basic principles for you to understand chemistry and other fields. Another fairly simple setup is putting baking soda into empty tea bags and then pressing it with the cap alongside the Mentos to see what happens. What just happened? That's right, 
go down in the comments let us know what happened was it the way we threw down the coke bottle or perhaps the baking soda in the interactions it had with the mentos plus the coke let us know all right that's it for today's video make sure to check out our new video next week Make sure to smash the like button and drop a comment below for suggestions you'd like to see in future videos. And don't forget to visit our website at scyteens.org and see our Instagram at side.teens. Right, what's the outro? No. I just ate them already. Already? Did I put it in first? Yeah. Oh. All of them.